Hi guys! Long time no see. I am so sorry. I haven't made a video in so long. Um, I have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I'm not going to get into that here. But I thought I would just do a little haul for you guys. I have a bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree, um, a bunch of stuff from Target, and I think one item from Walmart and an item from Etsy. Um, now, a lot of the Dollar Tree stuff I have, I can't remember if I've shown you in a past Dollar Tree haul. So if you see stuff I've shown you before, I am sorry. Um, but I'm gonna start with the stuff I know I haven't shown you yet. Um, but I'll go ahead and start with these. These are from Target. I just picked up two of these little organizer bins. These are $4 each, but they're the perfect size to keep under like the bathroom sink to store stuff um, or even the hall closet. I plan to buy a ton of different little baskets like this. Um, I got some dry roasted, dry honey roasted peanuts. They had no other options, like they were all dry roasted, but um, I love honey roasted peanuts, so it makes up for them being dry roasted. Um, okay, also from Target, I actually, I grabbed this sweatshirt tonight. Green Day is, like, one of my all-time favorite bands in the world. Um, I saw this, like, by chance. I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't even really looking at clothes. It just popped out at me, and I threw it in the cart. I had to have it. Um, it is the photo from their album Dookie, which is like their earlier stuff, but I do love that album. I love everything Green Day. They are just my heart. They are the first rock band that I fell in love with, and they're the first band that really like made me segue into loving rock, because before that, I think I mainly listened to pop because growing up, you know, it was all about NSYNC and Britney Spears. And while I still love them, I am a rock girl at heart. Um, okay. So I have a Johnny Cash shirt. You guys have seen me wear in videos before. I bought it years ago. It was from the women's section. Um, it, it's a little tight on me these days. So I saw this one in the men's section. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, mine was like pure black. This is more of like a, you know, like a dark charcoal gray, but nonetheless, I wanted another Johnny Cash shirt to be able to wear comfortably. So I did grab, um, the sweatshirt and <laughs> the Johnny Cash shirt tonight. Also recently from Target, um, I've been needing some new shorts and I found these. The brand is All In Motion. And they have a few different colors. Not a whole lot. But these are just like the army green color. They're such like a nice material. Um, they do have two pockets in the front. Um, nice elastic waistband. They are not super short. Which is why I hate shorts. Because normally they're just too short for my liking. <laughs> um... I'm not into booty shorts, but, um, like, these are perfect, and they're comfortable to just lounge around in the house in as well. So I know they have this army green, they have a beige, like a charcoal gray, and all black, and I think they have a royal blue. Um, I actually would love to get a pair in all the colors, but for now, I just have the army green. Uh, these have become a new favorite around here, at least between me and my fiance. Um, they're the Nerds Gummy Clusters. They're so good. Oh my god, I can't. I went to Target the other night, and my fiance, I had gotten a bag for myself, and then my fiance was like, get me a bag. But they had none in stock, and then tonight they had some, so I had to grab another bag. We will eat them so quickly. Um, okay. Now, not all of these are from tonight. These are from the past several trips to Target. 
Um, but my Target finally got the Animal Crossing Amiibos. Um, they've always had, since they've been released, the Hello Kitty ones, but I already bought those. I got those online, but now they have just, like, the packs of, like, the random character Amiibos. You get six Amiibos in each pack, and they're $5.99. So, I picked up these two tonight. They were both Series 1. I am trying to get, um... I don't care what characters I get. Honestly, like, I want to collect all of them in a binder like I used to do with Pokemon cards because I'm a nerd. But um, there are certain characters that I'm really hoping to get. Um, and then like a couple nights ago, I got two more. One was from Series 3 and then one was from Series 4. And again, another... T so yeah, I've gotten a lot so far. Um, but another one from Series 1 and then a Series 5. So, um, that's like my new favorite thing to buy. And then these are in the dollar section. They are $3 each. And while they are really cute picture frames as they are, I have some craft ideas that I want to try with them. But they're just these, um, like, frames um, let's see, does it say, it says it fits up to a 5x7 photo, if you're wanting to use it for a picture frame, which I may end up doing, I don't know, I do really want to try this craft idea that I saw somewhere, I can't remember if it was Instagram or Pinterest or wherever, so I got those, um, I think that is all of my target stuff um okay so from walmart um i like never go to walmart anymore it is very rare that i get to go but i saw these like jogger style pajama pants and they're the comfiest softest material and of course they are a leopard print they have a little bit of color in there but they have you know like the cuffed bottom but when i wear them i just kind of like you know, roll them up a little bit so they're more like um, at my ankle because I get a little bit too hot when I'm wearing pants. And with joggers, I don't like my ankles feeling restricted. So I just kind of like push them up a little bit, you know, more like a capri style. But I love these. They do also have pockets. They're so comfortable. They were like maybe $10. They also have shorts that match this. And I think shirts that match. I definitely want a pair of the shorts. Um, okay. From Etsy, I saw this phone case. You guys know, I have a thing for phone cases and I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but, um, I had to have this. I love true crime. So the phone case, it says, careful there, you know, I love true crime. And it has like, like newspaper clippings and photos of, Let's see. I think that's like Richard Ramirez over here. This was the, um, like that lady murderer. I can't remember, uh, her name or anything, but I just, it's true crime related. So I had to have it. Um, and then I bought something off of Amazon that I'm not showing here right now, but I, look, I don't want to pay $15 a month for Prime, so I canceled Prime. Um, so to get free shipping, I added like a $5 item. And the $5 item was this Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. So I've never tried this before, but I was like, you know, for 5 bucks, you know, I wanted to get the free shipping. <laughs> um, and may as well give it a whirl. Okay. So the stuff that I know for sure you haven't seen from Dollar Tree, um, I saw, like, my Dollar Tree now has almost every variety of the vinyl paper that you could want before I had a hard time finding any, but I saw this floral vinyl paper and I thought it was so pretty. You can see it better down here. But to do, like, springy, summery type crafts with. So I did grab one of those. I should have gotten two. Um, I grabbed this random, like, 
Crayola sticker activity pad, you know, just, just a color because I'm a nerd. And then I saw this lavender and I just thought it was so pretty. So I did get two of them. Oh, they're gorgeous. And then I picked up another one of these just Chanel, Chanel, I don't know. It's a really soft, like fuzzy, fuzzy stuff to work with and like a really pretty mint green. I also grabbed another six pack of the little carrots. These are so freaking adorable. Um, and then I grabbed these little chalkboard tags. These are so cute. You can do so many different crafts with these. And then I came across this like poem book that, I don't know, I just thought sounded interesting. It just says Poems, Silent Squall um, by Alpha. And this is what it looks like. So, I mean, you know, it's just like filled with different little poems. So I thought I would grab that. Okay. Um, okay, a lot of this stuff, I really don't know what I've shown you and what I haven't. So again, if you've seen some of this before, I'm sorry. I know you've probably seen a few things for sure, but I'm just gonna show you because it's been so long. I can't remember. I bought a bag of those little like cotton tails, you know, for like doing the bunny crafts. Um, oh, this is from Target, actually. So for anybody wanting to do, like, those egg crafts, or, like, making the wreaths with eggs, um, if you can't find any good ones at Dollar Tree, in the Easter section, like, by the Easter decor at Target, they have this pack of, it's 12 eggs, and they're only $3, and they are, they are white. <laughs> um, they come with little packs of dye, because they're dyeable eggs, but like you can paint them, you can do whatever you want with them. So for $3, I grabbed a pack for myself and then I grabbed a pack for Alden to do his own eggs. Um, I can't remember if I showed you this or not, but I got this two pack of bandanas. I really liked the colors, especially this one, like the tie dye looking one. And then I got this really pretty set of tissue paper. I'm loving the floral print there. And then again with this one, I'm loving the greenery. Um, that's not from Dollar Tree. There's that. Um, I also grabbed this uh, like ivy garland. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but I thought I would come up with something. And then I feel like I did show this to you. This is just like the green one that I got, but I also have it in pink. And then I picked up two of these Crafters Square decorative mesh. Um, one is like a neon yellow and one is pink and they are like speckled and then i did get a bunch of different flowers so let's see what are these tweedias got some cute little tweedias and then i just got these cute like pink glitter berries. I know, I'm sorry, like the light kind of washes it out. And then I love these. I guess they're called Heather. I always go for like the pinks. I love the pinks. And then I got these peonies. Pretty corally color. And then some lilacs and carnations. And then I found this really cute egg garland. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but 
I have so many Easter crafts that I want to start working on. So doing this video is also kind of helping me inspire, helping inspire me to actually start on all of my crafts now. Um, and then I also got these pom-pom trims. There are three yards each. I just got pink and green. Um, I did end up getting two of these cute little tin buckets. One of them is actually out on my mantle already. This one says Cottontail Farms, Open Daily, Carrots, Chocolates, and Eggs. I think the other one has carrots on it. And then I picked up these two little stuffed bunnies. I couldn't resist the, like, tie-dye one. And then, yeah, this one is chocolate-scented. <laughs> I feel like I definitely showed that to you before. Um, and then I got these really pretty glittery, glittery foam eggs. And, oh, this is another Target item I just threw in there because this is like my springy Easter craft basket at the moment. Uh, they're just these little wooden eggs. Um, you get six of them. They're in the dollar spot for $3. So I just grabbed those as well. Uh, my glue gun is in there. I got two little wooden bunny heads. Um, I picked up these, uh, like, uh, branches or just, like, greenery napkins. I do think I got these at Target, though, because I keep seeing people make these really cool crafts using really cute napkins, but my Dollar Tree has none of the cute napkins. I think everybody that's making those videos on, like, how to do this it's making everybody else go out and buy them, so I can never find that stuff. I also picked up another super glue. I always pick one of these up at Dollar Tree. It's a necessity. Um, okay, I know you guys have seen this. Um, I never found, like, my initial, so I just got, like, the last name initial. Um, oh, a couple of my little flowers came off, but that's okay. And then I did get two bunnies. I need to make little outfits for them. And then now this isn't like Eastery, but I threw it in here. I'm not sure if I want to turn this into an Eastery um, decor piece or just a decor piece for year round. Um, it says you are meant for big things, um, which is cute in itself, but um, I just... I don't know. I kind of want to redo it, but I love the little hanging part with the little balls. Give me one second. I'm sorry. All right. Somebody was calling me. I think it was my sister, so I'm going to have to call her back. Um, I also have this Crafters Square purple yarn. Pretty sure you guys did see that. And then I've had this tacky glue on hand. I just have it thrown into the basket and then I did pick up this uh clear grip gorilla glue but I can't remember where I got this if I got it at Target it had to have been Target I don't really go anywhere else so I don't know I just I have lots of glue options and then I got three packs of of the little ceramic uh, pots because I saw this amazing craft on Instagram that I am going to try and do. So that's what the pots are for. And that is also what these like, what are they called? Bicycle wheel wreath rings. That's what these are for. So these with the pots and these. Um, now, the person that made the craft I'm planning to make found, like, triangular-shaped um, picture frames. I could not find them, so I found these in hopes that it'll work just as well. We will see. We will see. Um, and then I also did get the bunny wire wreath form. 
So I definitely think you guys saw a lot of that. I just couldn't remember. Um, oh, and then, of course, for that same project, I picked up some zip ties from Dollar Tree. So, yeah, I just thought I would hop on here because it's been so long since I filmed a video. I'm really sorry about that. I've just had a lot of stuff going on for, um, for a while. So, I, uh, I'm trying to get back into the groove of things and I want to film a ton more videos. I really, really do. Um, I'm trying to get myself motivated again and get back into it. Um, and please don't mind the fact that I have absolutely no makeup on my face. It's late and I'm going to bed soon, so I just saw no reason to throw makeup on just to take it right back off. But, you know, I don't feel like I look completely terrible. <laughs> I am so obsessed with the sweatshirt, though. Um, now, this is the first one that, like, I saw and threw it in the cart. It was an extra large, and I did try to look and see if they had different sizes. I found two mediums, but then I was like, since it's in the women's section, um, I figured extra large would be better, um, because I recently got a sweatshirt from there, and I went with medium, and as much as I want to wear it, I don't, because I feel like it's not snug. I just feel like if I would have gotten, like, an extra large, I would feel more comfortable in it. So I'm very happy that I went with an extra large in this. So, um, but anyway, that is my random collective haul that I thought I would share with you guys. I'm so sorry for being gone for so long, but I promise I won't make it that long anymore. Um, I will have more purse videos for you, of course. What else would I be doing? Um, but yeah, and I will definitely catch you guys up really soon with everything that's been going on. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys again really soon, I hope. <laughs> Bye! So I just thought I would show you guys the decor that I have out here. This is the other little tin pail. I put some of the carrots in there, um, a little moss bunny. This little sign came in a three pack from Target. And then of course the little like beaded um, garland from Dollar Tree. These two rabbits are from Target. This one was $3 and I believe this one was five dollars and then I have the little bunny butt garland and then I just stuck that little sign from Dollar Tree there I have this sign that I just thought was so cute from the Target dollar spot as well it was three dollars and then I have this other little wooden bunny from the Target dollar spot, $3. And then I just got this cute little lantern with a fake LED candle inside from Dollar Tree. Another little moss bunny in there and there. And then I left the little gnome guys out. And then this wooden bunny and the little wooden carrots were part of that three pack from the Target dollar spot. And then I moved my little fake tree thing out here so nothing crazy um and then over here I did hang up the really cute um what's it like felt yeah it's like a felt material wreath that I found at Target I just thought that it was really cute so I just hung it up there and then I kind of made a little collage wall um, so I have that little Easter sign there. This was the Target dollar spot. Technically, you know, it's a clover, um, wreath for St. Patrick's Day, but it's green and pretty and it works for spring. And then I love that carrot sign. And then I have the bunny trail sign. And I know that one is from Valentine's Day, but I thought it was so cute. I was just going to leave it out. Because it doesn't, like, say Valentine's Day. And it has flowers, so it's springy. But, you know, I just did that. 
And then back here where Alden has his painted canvases, I also put this little garland on the wall. I think that one was also from Dollar Tree, um, just like the little wooden garland. Um, I wanted to use it um, as well as the um, bunny butt garland, but it would have been too much to have them both, you know, hanging here. So I actually have an extra one of those. I wasn't sure where to put it. So yeah, it's not much, but I'm happy with it for now. I would like to add a couple of like, you know, smaller little knickknacks, but oh, we will see what I get to. But anyway, this will be the end of the video. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Good night.